William C. Sullivan, hospital corpsman chief. Orders come in, giving me submarine school. They took me off of the uh, waiting list, or, or the call list for Vietnam. And uh, I went, then I went from there in, in December up to submarine school. And I went, was up there for through three schools, sub school, sub medicine, and, and sub nuclear medicine. Then I got sent down from there to Charleston, and I rode the boomers down there. The boomer was out of Scotland, so you'd fly from Charleston to Scotland to get on your ship. And then the blue crew could bring the ship in, I was gold crew. They'd come aboard the tender, we'd go aboard the ship, and that was our ship now. And then we'd go out for 90 days and then come back in. The same thing was going on. I, you know, people say, you were on a submarine. Yeah, it's a duty. You know, it, the submarine, it was a missile boat. We went underwater. We didn't come up for 90 days. Well, supposedly, it's usually about 80 some days. Uh, we went through basically maneuvers of firing our missiles. Man battle stations missile. Man battle stations missile. And there was a way they had it, two people to get in with two keys to tell us what we're going to fire at and all this here. It was a whole big, but that had nothing to do with me because I'm enlisted. That was all officer, the captain and the ex and the engineer, the navigator and all that there. Uh, there on that ship, I, I was a helmsman. <laughs> Here's another funny story for you. But I was on it, we we're uh, trying to qualify. When you're quali I hold my sick call and everything else. Then I'd try and learn the boat the way I'm supposed to learn it, you know. Well, they make you feel like you have to know it all, but they, as a corpsman, you have, they want you more for the medical and the cooks and that, you know. But they put you through a whole bunch of stuff to qualify. Anyway, I went through this, was going through it, and I went up there, and I didn't get no rest that day, and I'm back on watch because we were on a three-section watch, six hours off, and then I mean six hours on three. Uh, 18 off, then back on. So I got back on and I was on the helm and we're going, <laughs> moving. And he says, uh, Helmsman, make your course 063. And I was at 066. So I said, permission to come out of AMC, which is automatic when you're in there. So I come out of automatic, get the chief's good. And I, I, as I'm turning the wheel, I said, Chief, what size rudder do I put on this thing? He didn't give me it for for thing. He said, for three goddamn degrees. <laughs> he said, put a full runner. Full runner. God damn it, he yelled at me. <laughs> you know, ship starting to swing. <laughs> he said, what are you trying to kill? It's full dive. A full with a full dive or something. He said, full dive. And we went, <laughs> and he had me by the head. Get out of the chair, get out of the chair, you're gonna kill us. <laughs> I said, I'm tired. Take a pill, doctor, take a pill. I said, no, I'm not taking no pill, I'm tired. <laughs> so that was just a funny incident, you know. Then I went back on it, and from that rest of the night, I was a messenger. <laughs> but they're good stories, they're, they're funny stories. They're, they're little things that don't mean nothing, but they're, they're kind of funny. That was on the, and, and I ran two runs on that. But our last run, we had to bring it back to the States because it was going into the yards. So we didn't we didn't come up at Scotland and surface. We just kept on going under and stayed under. Ninety days was the most I spent underwater like that. Then we come up in Charleston. I got transferred to uh, Maine. And then I went aboard a fast attack, which was a Grayling, out of Kittery, Maine. And that was that was on the pre-commissioning crew. So they built it, and then we finally got on it. And we we're starting to take it out for its runs deep dives and you know you go down in steps and you come up and when they get all was ready and we we're going out for our dives and our qualifications and the 
taking all the shipper workers with us, you know, the, the bosses, they had to go with us. If something was going to go wrong, they were going to die with us, so they had to make sure, just like the thresher, when the thresher went down and came out of the same yard. But anyway, uh, and while I was on that, they were having a, uh, a drill. The Commodore and them were on there for the inspection to see if we're ready, qualified in every department to take this thing out to sea. So they called the corpsman, corpsman, corpsman of the forward quarters. So I run up there with my, my kids and that, and, and they're evacuating it because there was smoke in there and that. And the guy was in bunk. He had a little card that said electrical shock. Now, when they hand you a card, that's what you're supposed to do. Now, he handed it to him. He was electric shock. So I come in and I said, what happened, blah, blah, blah. And they, and they were trying, they are telling me and I'm checking him out to make sure his breathing's okay. and you know, and everything, no bleeding, no, you know, <laughs> and the guy hands me the card, and I thought, oh, damn, they're trying to drill to see if I trained them enough to take care of an accident if it happens to me. So this chief was right behind me, Hornberger, and I said, <clears throat> and I start falling, and he says, he, he grabs me and he says, I said, put me to the ground, check my breathing, check my breathing. Uh, pulse, make sure everything's fine, you know, and as I'm going down, and he, because he's saying, oh, God, Dad, don't, don't do this to us. So, so the guy that was inspected, this runs out of the, the quarter. Whew, Corman passed out, Corman passed out. So Stan kind of bends over and says, hey, Doc, you got electric shock. I said, you gave me the card. He said, that was to let you know my symptoms. <laughs> So we went up to the Kirkik, and they said, and the, the, the commodore's going through, he says, yeah, he said, well qualified to go to sea. The corpsman even knows how to take care of his own heart attack. <laughs> I had a good life. <laughs> when I was getting close, they, uh, we had about another three months or maybe six months, I think, before it got commissioned. And uh, I, said, I said to the captain, I got to get off here. He said, why? I said, i got to go to Vietnam. He said, if you want medals, he said, we're going to get them once we get out. I said, I don't want medals. It's bothering me. I put in to go on submarines to get out of going to Vietnam. Now it's bothering me because I'm seeing hospital corpsmen killed. Not that I wanted to go over and get killed, but I'm sure of my duty that I should have been. When I was on a 15-minute standby, I should have went because when I was on that, Every time I went to a different level of standby, three people would leave the dispensary and go to Vietnam. See, so nine people left there before I ever did, and I got to school, and it bothered me. So he disqualified me, and then I went to Vietnam.